feel like it's been forever since I gave an update on my weight loss journey. So here's a little update as well as just a life update in general. Hello Royal Beauties, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Cricket Williams Speed. I was originally scheduled to go on my summer quarter juice fast in July, but since I was scheduled for a mommy-daughter trip to Houston that month, I just postponed it for August. I had an amazing time with my mom. We are on this healing journey. God is mending wounds from the past. And if you haven't seen the video on our trip to Houston and or my first video I posted about healing broken relationships, I will leave the links up here somewhere or in the comment section or in the description box below. I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. Just check out those videos at the end of this video. So right before starting my juice fast, one of my uncles passed away from colon cancer that had spread throughout his body. Then less than two weeks from his passing, my maternal grandparents' youngest son, my baby uncle, passed away from stomach cancer. They thought they got it all during surgery. It came back and he was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. We were nine years apart. We practically came up together in my grandparents' house. He was like a big brother to me and I was crazy about my uncle. Both deaths hit hard. Less than one year from the death of another uncle, my grandparents' oldest son, but losing my baby uncle was the hardest death I've ever experienced. I mean, I couldn't stop crying. I still cry. I miss him. I just miss him so, so much. My life will never be the same because life the way I've known it is just quickly changing. I mean, all those who made my childhood, all those who made up my childhood are leaving this side of heaven at a rapid pace. And I know many of you can relate to that. I had a moment before starting my juice fast where I was feeding my emotions. I indulged a little, nothing major, but it was a challenge to stop. I knew it was my way of dealing with loss. You know, that's what I had the tendency to do. I literally wasn't expecting the loss of my uncle who passed away from colon cancer to get to me the way that it did. I was beginning to get depressed and thought, what's the use? What's the point of all of this? But I started my juice fast as planned and shortly afterwards, my baby uncle passed away. These events over the last few months got me to thinking about life in general, my health, my career, business endeavors, my spirituality or relationship with God, my children, and my relationships in general, my presence here on YouTube and social media. It caused me to take serious inventory. I didn't exercise during this last fast and I just stuck to buying cold pressed juice from the grocery store instead of juicing my own juice. I drank more fruit juice than usual, which can impede the weight loss or even cause you to gain weight. I did not lose as much as I planned. I lost a little over 15 pounds. I planned for 25, 30 pounds. And with everything that was going on, I forgot to record my weight in. So I really appreciate your patience and understanding. The total amount lost after the last juice fast was 94 pounds. I am now down a total of 97 pounds since I started juicing last July. My goal was to lose 140 pounds total to get back to my previous size. However, just losing 130 pounds will help me to get to a nice healthy size for my age and weight. So that will be just a little more than 30 pounds I would need to lose to get to that goal. 
So I really don't have that much to lose. I don't have that far to go. Even though this last fast didn't go how I planned, I am still celebrating how far I've come and will continue to celebrate the life given to me and not take anything for granted. If I haven't gotten anything from both of my uncles passing away, I've gotten determination to make the most out of life while I have it, to live and to love with my whole heart, to serve with the gifts and talents God has blessed me with, to make a difference, to take care of myself, mind, body, and spirit. When my whole world was falling apart, I decided to stay the course and dig in. And when I did, routine and discipline just kicked in. Just by me staying on schedule with my juice fast, regardless of everything that was happening, it would have been perfectly understandable if I just took a pass on this and just waited for the next quarter. I didn't feel like it at times. It didn't go the way I had hoped. It wasn't perfect, but I'm glad I pushed through. Now, I want to tell you this. I've learned from time past that I can't just rely on sheer discipline alone for too long. It's unsustainable for me to constantly push myself to go. I had to get right back into my self-care routine as soon as possible, tending to my mental, emotional, spiritual, as well as my physical health. So I just finished transitioning with fresh fruit and veggies, mostly fresh fruit and veggies. I've had some cooked um, veggies like near the end of my juice fast and I was still drinking cold pressed juices. I am working on being more consistent with my walking. I'm also practicing intermittent fasting. And I don't beat myself up over going astray from time to time. Things happen, life happens. I just gently get myself back on track. For me, it's about being emotionally strong, maintaining a healthy relationship with myself and food. So I just feel strengthened and really inspired to press on just a little while longer. For those of you who are on your weight loss journey, please share in the comment section how you stay the course when life, when life just happens. Let's encourage one another. Also, if you like this video and would like to see more on my weight loss journey, you're going to want to watch this next. Okay, Royal Beauties, thanks for watching. I look forward to sharing with you on my next video. Love you much. Peace and God bless.